Yo, it's me, Xavier, with an important message to not only GB, but um, everybody in general. If you support me, it is time to put on your battle helmets and prepare for war. I have been uh, put in quite the predicament. Uh, there is a lot of people that are upping their tactics of manipulation in order to reach my clan and my internal. I mean, as you know, if you want to take down an empire, the best way to do it is from the inside out. And uh, I don't intend on allowing that to happen so soon. And uh, I'll be enacting some ideologies. The first ideology I'll be removing is I'm removing the anti-teaming policy. GB will now be allowed to team as they please. That is the first thing I'll be removing. The second thing that will be removed, or as an addition, is we are entering a state of war, GB clan. We are entering a state of war, which means every single clan that you see in existence must be killed. You must attack them. Even people outside of clans, attack them too. If they are not in GB, they must die. This is all in game, by the way. In game. Roblox, Rogue Demon, in game. I stand at six foot three, twenty OBS, roughly, probably a little bit more. I'm a big guy. Trained for combat, hand to hand specifically, and I'm the greatest leader that anybody could ever wish for in the Roblox community because I care about my members more than myself. There's evidence of this. Without my members, I am but it's just some gorilla. <laughs> um, regardless, man, regardless, it is important that you all understand why I'm doing this. There is too much corruption, and it's too hard to identify. Therefore, we must attack everybody. The minute you see this video, band together, make friends with fellow GB members. It is important that you have a friend group of GB. Because if you don't, they will jump you. Be prepared to call for backup requests. The systems that will be implemented within the internal system of the clan and the group itself will promote our defense systems, our offensive systems, and of course, our overall training experience systems. This is an important necessity in order to reach global conquest. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for me to put... Hey, I had decided to take a break. I decided, yo, you know what? All the clans that exist are pretty cool. RDHQ has decided to chill out. You know, I, don't, I haven't heard any exposing and stuff like that from their people. They've been relatively chill. So I'm like, you know what, fine. Every other clan in North America, you know, relatively chill and fine. Until, unfortunately, it came to the realization that peace is never an option because humanity naturally leads towards chaos. Probably why these clans continue to be formed purely to attack me. Why, I don't know, when I've given thousands of dollars to the community and funding tournaments. I've went out of my way to create the biggest anti-teaming agency. I've done so many things that I'd like to argue with the fact that I've tried to play the moral ground. And it seems that humanity naturally takes its course of toxicity and violence, I suppose. In game, of course. And um, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. That is why I'm putting my foot on the gas. Everybody in GB must attack every single person not in GB. Now, it doesn't mean you go and attack noobs, Xbox players. You don't even know how that... That's mean. What you need to do is primarily... You know what? Do what you want. The rules are gone. The ideology is gone. Just know it's GB or nothing. There will be a lot of traitor GBs in the chat. There will be a lot of traitors in GB. A lot of fake GB. That is why I'll be implementing yet another system. See, I should actually probably write that down. Give me a second. Implement anti-fake 
G B policy. And yes, I'm left-handed. Well, actually, I'm ambidextrous, so I could switch like this. Boom, boom, and then just kind of, no problem. It's the benefit of being a genius. What can I say? Um, I was on a path of humbling myself, and I was successful in it. I now understand that I'm, I'm touchable, I suppose you can say. In a, in a, that kind of just sounds weird, but you understand what I'm saying. A bullet to the head will take me out, as would most human beings. Um, we are not immortal. We are not God. But we are capable of thought. Some of us have different brain capacities. Some of us have different prefrontal cortex operations. I formed systems in order to enhance my own intelligence and psychological prowess, which is why I created the Round Table of Twelve. I've actually been seeking out eleven individuals to that are on my level of thought. If you believe that you can think similar to me in the aspects of, I suppose you could say, taking the game serious. That's a good way to put it. But not only taking, you know, I think taking it serious is the first way you want to operate on, on conquest. Now, taking it serious requires a lot of time, my friends. Time that most people do not have. This is part of my income, so I have justification for dedication. However, as I said, these policies have now been put into place. Um... We are now entering a new war era. Prepare yourself, GB, for endless attacks from both sides, us and the enemy, and prepare for the true battlefield to begin. There has also been... Yep. That doesn't matter. But listen, ladies and gentlemen... I say this because we have no choice. I won't sit here and allow my members to be attacked. I play passive. We follow under don't teaming rules. And they want to attack us. So we will show them what we are capable of. As I said, there will be offensive units that will be created. Defensive units that will be created. Internal system security systems that will be created. More security systems. And of course the final act which is currently classified. <sighs> Prepare yourself, ladies and gentlemen, for all-out warfare. Put on your battle helmets. Grab your shields. Put on your chest plate. Put on the leggings. And deploy. <sighs> this is your GB leader. Out.